in touch with your Community Connection. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Susan Nicholas with your Community Connection. Looking for a summer road trip that won't cost you too much in gas? Well, Paul Tierney is here to share what you can do at Carter Caves. And it looks like you're right there at one of the entrance to the caves. That's that's right. I'm actually here at uh, one of our most popular commercial tours, which is X Cave right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so tell us what activities you have coming up in the next couple of weeks. So, you know, we're known for our caves, and year-round we take several uh, commercial tours through places like Cascade and, and X Cave, which is the one, once again, right here behind me. But as we get closer to Memorial Day weekend, we're going to be having access to some additional caves that we don't have access to during those winter months. Uh, for instance, Salt Peter Cave, which is personally one of my favorite caves here at the park. Uh, it's a great historical tour. It talks about the cave's involvement for the War of 1812. And then we have our Bat Cave tour. Now, with the addition of, of these caves during the summertime, uh, we can take a lot of things like our Salt Peter Cave Lantern tour. We also have our very, very popular Ghost and Legends tour. Uh, and Bat Cave here on the park is also what we consider to be our wild cave. It's it's not a prepared cave with lights and man-made walkways. So it, it really is most people's first experience into what many would consider to be the wild caving experience. Yeah, it sounds so fun. And, and on hot days, much cooler than the weather outside. So what can visitors right. do above ground? Uh, you know, we've been seeing a lot more people coming here to Carter Caves as a paddle destination, meaning kayaks and canoes and such. And, of course, here at Carter Caves, we have a small uh, lake called Smoky Lake, and it's, it's a very, very scenic, scenic lake. And people can either bring their own watercrafts during the summer months, and we also offer trips of Smoky Lake as well. We're really, really excited uh, about our moonlight tours coming up this summer. And if you didn't get a chance to bring your own watercraft, if you're just coming out here for a weekend uh, with just a small safety deposit and $35 per watercraft, we actually deliver kayaks and canoes to the to Smoky Lake. And you have a chance to spend half a day or you can spend all day out there. And this is just one of the activities that we'll be offering. Our recreation department puts out weekly schedules filled with all kinds of fun programming for, uh, for families during their stay. Yeah. And you have hiking trails, too, don't you? Uh, yes, we did. Believe it or not, I got here at 7 a.m. this morning, and I've been working on trails already. We we maintain uh, nearly 30 miles worth of, of hiking trails here, both multi-purpose, meaning equestrian trails, mountain biking trails, uh, but we also have a lot of foot trails as well, which is what we were we were working on this morning. Uh, but with that, with that 30 trails, you see some of the best geological features in the state. There are six natural arches found on park trails, including the largest natural bridge in the state of Kentucky, Smoky Bridge. Now, there are beautiful sandstone arches such as Fern Bridge uh, and Natural Bridge near the Welcome Center, which is one of the only natural bridges in the state of Kentucky that supports a paved road over the top of it. Uh, this is just a, a few of the features, but visitors can spend several days exploring and not be disappointed in what they find. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, I also hear that you have some outdoor movie experiences and even opportunities to learn about history. Tell us about this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited to be getting back to some of the normalcy uh, of our programming. I mean, Carter Caves is not only known for the caves, but we're also known for our programming here as well. Uh, but we're this summer, we're going to be featuring something called Fairway 5 Flicks. And Fairway 5 Flicks is basically our version of a drive-in movie. You get to come out here and watch like a blockbuster movie uh, on what used to be our old golf course. So it's a nice big area with a 40-foot screen. We, we even pipe the uh, sound to you over your, your car radio. Uh, and so we're going to be doing that in July, August, and even one in September. Uh, towards the end of July, though, we have what's called the, the Pioneer Life Week, and we're excited about the Pioneer Life Week this year because it's our 30th anniversary. So we started this event over uh, 30 years ago, uh, and it's a chance for people to come and kind of see maybe what life would have been like or what it would have been like to experience this area in the late 18th century, early 19th century. Uh, so all these events and programs we post on our Facebook page. So really the best way to get to know what's going on here and what we have to offer 
is to like us on Facebook because if you do that, you're going to be up to date with all the most recent activities. That's great. And then we can plan our whole summer just by checking in on exactly. that. Exactly. Just Paul, by checking in. Yeah, Paul Tierney with Carter Cage State Resort Park. Lots to do there all summer long. Thanks for talking to us about it today on your Community Connection. Thank you.